Hello, English learners. Welcome back to the English with Michael YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. I hope you like my new background. It's still maybe a work in progress, but this is what I've done so far. I hope you like it. Today, I want to talk about an important topic related to language learning or English learning, but also important for most things in your life. This is something I'm really passionate about, and it is how to organize your time. If you want to make time to study English, you need to organize your time because we're all busy in some way or another. We all have things to do. And I have a lot of thoughts on this, a lot of opinions anyway. And I think I've got some good advice because I think I'm biased, but I think I'm quite good at organizing my time. And it's very important for English because you need to have that time set aside each day to study if you want to see big or fast improvements. So let's get into my advice. One really big tip is when you wake up. Most people will like to wake up early to be productive. Maybe that doesn't work for you. It does for me. But what is important, I think, is to wake up the same time every day. I really think this is one of the most important things you can do to have that structure in your day. If you know you're waking up at the same time, everything else that follows will also be at the same time. So it's really important. It's good for your health, your body, and your productivity as well. Wake up at the same time. For me, that's six o'clock, but for you, that may be different. Another thing I would recommend is to make a list of what you want to do the night before. This is the last thing I do every day before I go to sleep, is I have a list of the following day and I write down all the things I want to do in order for me to consider it a successful day. Maybe there are some stuff I need to get done, stuff that I want to get done, and I kind of prioritize that uh, throughout the day. It's a really important thing to do, I think, because when you wake up, you have no plan. It's very difficult to make a plan. It's easy to be lazy. So I recommend doing it the night before. And when you are completing these tasks throughout the day, cross them off because it's a really good feeling. It's just like that little uh, boost of happiness when you cross off a thing that you wanted to do. So that's my method and I hope it works well for you as well. My next tip is whether it's with your work or any personal projects you have is to limit longer tasks. So I have some really big tasks that are kind of daily ongoing tasks and I have to limit myself to one hour a day. This sounds really counterintuitive. It sounds like it doesn't make any sense, but really I think this is a great idea. I can actually be more productive this way rather than working really hard and burning myself out. For example, I might work like five hours in one day because I've got so much motivation, five hours on one project, say my website in one day. Maybe that goes well, but then I really burn myself out. And then for the next week, I don't do anything because I just feel so exhausted and I don't want to do five hours again. It's just not easy to get back into. When I limit myself to one hour a day, it's never enough time. But I'm always so excited to get back into it because I know I have lots to do. And because of that, I end up doing like seven hours a week, which is more than I would do if I just did it whenever I felt like it. So limiting your longer tasks, I think, can be a really good thing as well to organize your time better. It might also help you work a bit faster if you know you have a deadline, you won't waste so much time. Here's some advice that I have been doing for many years, and I also heard someone say it recently, and that was, if a task takes less than one minute, do it immediately. Because these kind of little tasks will build up throughout the day, and they will become big tasks uh, eventually. This could just be little things like when you get home, Put your shoes back where the shoes belong, wherever that is. Uh, put your coat back on the coat rack. Put your clothes back in the drawer. 
it takes a few seconds to do, but if you don't do it, you'll have a huge pile of clothes to sort out at the end of the day. So that's a really good way to organize your time. These little things add up and make a big difference. My next tip is to start your day with enjoyable tasks that are easy to accomplish. There are many ways you can structure your day. You have to find the way that works best for you. But I really enjoy doing the enjoyable ones first and the important ones first. So I try to kind of mix them in together. So I have that momentum to push me to do the rest of my tasks. It's also a good idea not to do all the boring ones at the end. So you could even sandwich them like a fun one, a boring one, a fun one. Whatever that means for you, but I think it's nice to do the big tasks either in the middle of the day or in the morning, not at the end of the day, because that's when you have the least amount of energy. And when it comes to English studying specifically, create some time to do that. I talk about it a lot in my videos, but I think you should have the same time every day. It should be a time when your mind is most active, most alert, and you know that time is yours. Nothing will interrupt that time apart from emergencies. It's good to be strict on that time, really strict. Treat it like, treat it almost like a ritual, like you have to do the same thing every day. But you're free to be flexible with what you do in that time. So if you're feeling like you're in the mood to do, like watch a TV show in English, or do some listening, do some reading, whatever it is, follow what you want to do, be flexible, but be strict on the time. There are many ways to study English. A good summary to this advice could be, there's no one in the world who is too busy to learn English. The only factor is how you prioritize your time. Some of us, of course, have very busy lives and it, it's harder for some people to find the time, but I don't believe that we can find time. I believe we make time. So think about what you do in your day, maybe try recording what you do in one day, and see how much time is wasted, how much time is spent doing things that are less important than English. And then you might consider reorganizing your day to find the best fit for you. I really hope this advice has been helpful and I really hope you can take it on board. If you do, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think and I'd love to hear if you actually take my advice and do anything I say or Maybe you disagree. If you disagree, let me know as well. I'd like to hear your ideas. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.